gets my go every time. <laughs> trigger warnings. More trigger warnings. Yes, this is an extraordinary story. So uh, Leeds University are now putting trigger warnings um, not just on any old books on its English course, but on children's books. So titles like Robinson Crusoe, Tarzan, and even Black Beauty now come with content warnings. That Why? Could What's be upsetting about Tarzan? To students. Tarzan is said to contain uh, racist ideas. Black Beauty is said to contain cruelty to animals. And the Mail points out, this is quite funny, that there have been 16 film and television adaptations of uh, Black Beauty. And every single one of them has been rated either U or PG, which means that the British Board of Film Classification thinks they won't upset um, anyone older than eight. But Students who are 18, 19, 20. Yes, so the trigger warning is there for students. <laughs> yes. Presumably of literature. Uh, students of English literature. English literature. So they're studying that anyway. They are adults. Yeah. And they, uh, the university is so worried they'll be upset that they put trigger warnings on these children's books. Behind the world. Who, who thinks about I, I, this? It, it, it's extraordinary. I mean, I think it's... it's it, the problem is, you see, we sort of laugh at the stupidity of it, but I do think it's insidious. I mean... The the funniest one, actually, was last week, the week before. Um, a trigger warning has now gone on 1984. Mm. <laughs> I mean, someone's got a serious humour or irony. What would Orwell think of that, eh? Exactly. Well. exactly. But it's, to me, it's always along the same lines. Um, it's that basically, they say, you know, young people now are not used to being criticised. They're not used to having their views challenged in any way because of social media but also there is a political element to it i mean there just is uh, i think it's a way of trying to control actually what people read and also really? essentially sort of uh, really undermining great classics you know of our time it's undermining all our cultural classics I think it's, I, Isn't it just, do you, do you think, just because a culture has grown up within our universities that because the, the students are young people mm. who want to make their mark, they, they, I mean, they join organisations, they march against this, they demonstrate against that, they make a big fuss about certain literature. Um, which is their right to do because they're 18 or 19 and they're young and they want to make that point. And it's like the university is pandering to them now. I think, I think what's, what's interesting about some of the most recent cases like the 1984 case, like this Leeds University case, is that actually this is now coming from the university directly, almost anticipating a student complaint. Mm. No, students mm. are not complaining about 1984 or um, any of these children's books. I, and I think they're probably self-aware enough to know that that's, uh, that, that's going to make them look silly. So there was in the past definitely you know, campaigns for no platforming of controversial speakers, yeah. those seem to have disappeared, probably because you don't get controversial speakers on campus anymore. There's nothing to protest. Um, and you were talking earlier about, you know, student fees. I think it's actually quite an insidious thing. Students have been turned into customers. Universities, which are supposed to offer a rigorous academic education, want to instead offer the student experience, which means, you know, students... Which means being locked up in your room or yeah. paying for a conversation yeah. that yeah. you yeah. can't then have and you can't have exactly. any Exactly, and, 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 and don't, you know, don't um, push Just students too hard. I mean, these are the students who yeah. will still, I mean, like everybody else, will still want to go to the movies and watch some of, some of the gruesome movies that there yeah. are out there. I mean, what they're going to have to trigger warnings as well. You, this may upset you. Well, I, I think probably they wouldn't have them on those because there's nothing particularly political necessary about them. I mean, I think the thing is, you've got to remember that something like 80 percent, is it, I think, of academics now would identify themselves as being left wing. This, the whole thrust of this is left wing. It's to undermine confidence in classic pieces of literature, for example. It, you can go on and on. I mean, even, That's very sinister if it's Oh, it, I absolutely think that's the point of it. And it's, it's the same with Shakespeare. Shakespeare now is sort of under threat. I mean, certain actors, you know, Juliet Stevenson said certain plays should never be seen again. I mean, it, this, this is, this oh, is that's, crazy. That sounds wrong. This is absolutely crazy. Mm.